Good afternoon, guys. Thank you for taking a little bit of time out of your day to check out the walk around video on this 2023 Trails West Sierra. Uh, this here happens to be a 15 foot short wall. This guy's also a four horse rear side load. It's got the slide out option, escape door there in the front stall. We did drop down windows on both sides, manger package. You've also got a ladder going up into the hay pod that's on this trailer. So as opposed to your standard hay rack, we opted for the hay pod on this guy. And that'll bring you back around here to your full rear tack. So because this is a rear side load, it gives you the full rear tack here where you'll notice you've got two four tier blanket racks on each one of the doors. You've also got two four tier saddle racks. We opted for the rubber floor mats back here in the rear tack as opposed to doing your standard carpet. Uh, we also added some additional outlets and USB ports back here in the tack area. Being a rear side load, you're going to have your spring assisted ramp here going into the rear stall. We did padded dividers in this trailer, stud wall for the front divider, bonded rubber floor mats, as well as a manger package. The horse area in this Sierra is also going to be lined and insulated. We've got exterior load lights inside and out on this trailer. We also did the 17 and a half inch wheels with the 16 ply tire upgrade, as well as drop down windows on the butt side. You'll also notice that we did an 18 foot power awning and then some additional steps there as well for whatever you may find them useful for, whether that's kicking your feet up, using it as a bench, whatever the case may be. And you've also got a fully enclosed front end on this trailer. So you're not going to have your propane tanks, hydraulic jack legs, and batteries exposed to anything that your truck tires are kicking up back into the trailer. It's all going to be well protected by that enclosed front end. And then as we get into the living quarter here, like I mentioned, it's going to be a 15-foot short wall, 19-foot long wall. And this is going to be the bunkhouse model. So it's going to have your double bunks here on the passenger side of the trailer. You're going to have your dinette in the slide out. We also opted for the tooled fabric walls in this trailer as well as the bulkhead. This trailer is also going to have your western premium interior with the rustic cabinets. Plenty of sleeping area there above the gooseneck. It's going to have a swivel T uh, TV bracket that's going to allow that TV to either be watched from the main area of the living quarter or from the master suite up top. And again, we added as many outlets and USB ports as we thought we could get away with in this guy. You'll notice that your air conditioner is going to be ducted. It's also going to have your dual burner cooktop, dual vanity sink. Six gallon water heater on board with this guy. And it's going to have a 60 gallon fresh water capacity. Full walk in shower, separate commode, very nice bathroom area in this guy. And you'll also notice that it's going to have that six cubic foot Dometic refrigerator right at the end of the bunk beds there. So with this floor plan between the bunk beds, the dinette that'll turn into a bed, as well as the mattress above the gooseneck area, you can comfortably seat five in this trailer or as many as you think you can get away with. We think this is going to be the perfect junior rodeo rig uh, and we will have this trailer out at the Sherry Survey event here next week, uh, the end of January. So if you think you're in the market for a newer trailer, feel free to come out and see us at the Sherry Survey event or you're more than welcome to stop by Hayes Trailer Sales of Tucson anytime Monday through Friday from 9 to 5 or Saturday 9 to 3.